Welcome to Royal News Updates. ONG. Enough is enough, Oprah Winfrey sues her and Meg claiming huge compensation for tarnishing her image. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been called out for not backing up their claims and accusations made against the royal family in the Oprah interview a year on. Meghan Markle, 40, and Prince Harry, 37, sat down for a two-hour-long interview with Oprah Winfrey on March 7, 2021 where they discussed their time as royals and departure from the UK which left the royal family facing one of its worst crises for generations. US Weekly's royal correspondent Christina Garibaldi discussed the claims made in the interview one year on with co-host Christine Ross. When Oprah Winfrey invited Meghan Markle to tell your truth in a bombshell interview last March, she gave the American wife of Prince Harry a global platform to air a long list of grievances about life in the British royal family. Meghan's truth in her Winfrey interview is now facing new scrutiny, following several stunning revelations last week in the Duchess of Sussex's UK court case against. When Oprah Winfrey invited Meghan Markle to tell your truth in a bombshell interview last March, she gave the American wife of Prince Harry a global platform to air a long list of grievances about life in the British royal family. Meghan's truth in her Winfrey interview is now facing new scrutiny, following several stunning revelations. According to what one legal expert told the Daily Beast, Meghan was found to have seriously misled the fans and to have potentially told whoppers, as she pursued claims that the mail violated her privacy when it published her now infamous letter to her estranged father, Thomas Markle. Meghan then issued an apology, saying she had forgotten a significant email in which she had authorized a former press aide to cooperate with the authors of a flattering biography of her and Harry. The couple had repeatedly denied in court and elsewhere that they had collaborated with the authors of Finding Freedom. Their lawyers had said that claims she collaborated with Omid Scobie and Carolyn Duran were false, fantastical and a conspiracy theory, The Times UK reported. But even after all Meghan and Harry still haven't backed up Oprah claims even after so much time. Speaking on Royally Us, Ms Garibaldi said, it's hard to believe that it's been one year since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's tell-all interview. How crazy is that? Ms. Ross added, time is just flying by and yet it also feels like that was a hundred years ago. I think I've said before it was so long ago but the last year has just flown by. Ms. Garibaldi continued, that was when they opened up this can of worms about the royal family. Ms. Ross interjected, we're still feeling the repercussions from that today, a year later. They still haven't fleshed out all the issues and accusations and all the claims that were made. It's amazing how much this interview has really shaken things up. Ms. Garibaldi noted, get ready for the book because that's coming around the corner. The couple accused a member of the family, not the Queen or Duke of Edinburgh, of making a racist comment about their son, Archie. Winfrey was left open-mouthed when the Duchess, the first mixed-race member of the modern monarchy, said a fellow royal was worried about how dark their son Archie's skin tone might be before he was born. Other revelations included Harry's admission, he has become estranged from his father, the Prince of Wales, saying, I feel really let down, but added that he would make it one of his priorities to try and heal that relationship. Buckingham Palace later said the Queen was saddened to hear about Harry and Meghan's struggles but added some recollections may vary over the other allegations. Harry and Meghan crossed the red line in deciding to walk away from the monarchy, a royal biographer has said. Angela Levin said the Queen was a patient woman but that she was devoted to her sense of duty and the protection of the royal family. The Queen doesn't want the royal family's name to be tainted in that way and this, I think, crossed the red line, she said. She's a very patient woman, she's not a micromanager. She lets her children and grandchildren do what they want up to a certain extent and when they overstep that, she comes down. Thanks for watching, please, share your thoughts in the comment.
Thanks. Subscribe to our channel.